creatures, hello and welcome to Eurofish TV. News about fish, for fish, made by fish. Tonight, an in-depth look at the backstory to the big news for sea life everywhere. The giant monster terrorizing our seas. When the humans first began hunting us fish, they weren't very good at it. There weren't very many of them, and there were loads of us. So for a long time, we hardly even noticed. Our troubles began when humans made machines to help catch us. Soon they had us on the run. We fish became harder to find, and fishermen started to argue about which fish was whose. Eventually, their leaders agreed to set rules that would mean that everyone would get their fair share, and we fish would be protected by limits to the total catch. So scientists counted the fish that were left, and worked out how many of us the fishermen could safely catch each year. The scientists then told the officials who make the rules... Who told the politicians who agree the rules? And then, after making some improvements to the figures, the politicians told the fishermen how many fish they were allowed to catch. And after some final improvements, the calculations were complete. But without meaning to, the humans had created a monster. The fishermen still can't find enough fish, so they still argue with each other. The politicians have to spend huge sums of public money to power the monster. And when the scientists count the fish again each year, somehow there are always fewer fish than there were the year before. As for us fish, if the monster is not stopped, there will soon be none of us left for it to catch. Join us next time on Eurofish TV for an exclusive interview with Maria Damanaki, friend to fish everywhere and seen by many as the last best hope of ending the reign of terror. Thanks for watching and good night. <laughs>